currently in my new apartment. This is actually my second apartment, but I did want to share some tips and starter items you need if you are considering moving into your first apartment. There are a variety of different stores that I purchased my items from from Home Goods, Amazon, Target, TJ Maxx, CDs Discounts, Big Lots, and the list goes on. Something I want you to note is that some of the items that I ordered have not arrived yet. Any links from stores that have links online, I will link them. So let's get into this haul. So I got some towels. I got these on sale and I have some more actually because Target was doing a sale. So in total, I think I have seven or eight. I got these at Home Goods for like $5 for this pack. So obviously I need a shower curtain and the shower liner because I don't have the sliding door. I got this from Dee Dee's for $5. For the liners, I got two just to have a backup for one. I got this one for $5.50 at Marshalls, this one for $4 at Dee Dee's. So a great price for all of these. And I got these on Amazon for $7, very affordable price. And what I like about these hooks is you can put the shower curtain on one hook and the shower liner on the other side. As you can see, I only have a built-in shelf for my soap and that's it. I got this from Amazon, comes in a two pack for $20 and this is used to install it on the wall. So basically it goes in the corner. I read great reviews on these that they're very sturdy. So I am going to install both of these. I believe I got this from Big Lots. It was on sale actually. It was like $5 from what I remember. So you can find these anywhere though. It's a cushion shower mat and it's machine washable. This mat is the stone mat. It's for when I get out of the shower. It's supposed to absorb water really well and it's rapid drying. And I got this from Amazon. And this one was kind of expensive for about $50, but I think it's worth it for what it offers in terms of rapid drying and being very water absorbent. I invested in this and I'm glad I did because I read a lot of great reviews on it. And again, it was $50, but it's worth it to me. I'll have it linked below as well. Something else that I got from Costco is a memory foam bath rug. It is charcoal and gel infused foam. So this one is just going to be placed in front of my sink. And this one is very, very soft. Of course, a plunger. I got mine from Big Lots for $9. And I got this toilet cleaning wand by Clorox. I love these. So I got one for my shower and I got one for my toilet. To make cleaning your bathtub so much easier, this is a lifesaver. This is definitely a lifesaver. So bathroom specific things are this light saw for my toilet. It was only $2.29 at Dee Dee's. I also got some Clorox, some glass cleaner for my mirrors this oxo scrub brush this was on sale at marshall's for like four dollars and something else that is bathroom specific scrubbing bubbles mega shower foamer and i got this from costco it came in a four pack and of course some fabuloso i got this from target which was also very affordable so these are just some of the cleaning materials that i'll be using for this bathroom i already did a deep clean of my entire apartment and i used some of these this is a cream and light purple one that i got from home goods it was on sale for eight dollars such a good deal and so sturdy i love this one and it's going to add a pop of color to my bathroom and I know it looks darker on camera, but it is cream up top and light purple at the bottom. So let's move on to the kitchen. So I wanted to mention this first since we just got done with the bathroom. Some of the items in the bathroom and the kitchen are the same, of course, but since I do have stainless steel, I use the Neiman stainless steel cleaner and this was $4.99 at Home Goods. Sometimes I also use the Glue Gone all-purpose cleaner. You can use it on different surfaces as well as stainless steel. And sometimes I also use my disinfectant cleaner and I got this from the dollar store, so it was $1.25. I also use these two items on my hardwood floor. I only have hardwood in my dining area, my kitchen, as well as my bathroom and my hallway area. My living room and my bedroom are both carpet, so I use both of these to clean the hardwood in my apartment. I also use my Bona Premium Pet Microfiber Mop. If you've seen my deep cleaning video, this is actually what I used in that video. You just take it out and put it on this mop, and then you go throughout your apartment that has hardwood floor. I just think it's so convenient. I got this 
from Target for $14.69 and it's by the brand O Cedar. It's an angled broom, so it's been very helpful. This is my trash can. I actually purchased it from Wayfair. It's a 20 gallon step on trash can. It fits literally everything and it was $60 from Wayfair. I got this 20 piece set from Marshalls for $15. I got this six piece set from Home Goods for $7.99 and they're stainless steel. So I thought that was a good deal. So I got all of these cooking utensils from different places. Some from Amazon, one from Ikea, two from the Dollar Tree. And my utensil holder is from Target. It was $10. I don't think you can really tell on camera, but it's kind of like a grayish black color. I love this utensil holder and it's very, very sturdy. Obviously it's easier to get a set of these and they have a lot of different sets on Amazon. I read a lot of great reviews on Amazon for a couple of them and then I read great reviews on some from Ikea and of course the Dollar Tree is amazing. So I decided to try out different ones from different stores so that for the future I will know which ones are the best quality and which ones are not so good. So that's something that I recommend doing. Try not to get all of your items from one specific store. Shop around a little bit because then you will know for next time what the quality is looking like for different brands. So that's how I do it. Of course, it's easier to get a set on Amazon or Target, but I like to use different cooking utensil items from different stores so that I can get a feel for what the quality is looking like. So I got two bowls. These are by Gibson Home and I got them from Home Goods and they were only $6.99 for two of them and they're pretty sturdy. And I also got two plates from the Dollar Tree. So they were $1.25 each. You can't beat that. And if one breaks, then I can just go somewhere else or go back to the Dollar Tree and get another one. These are from Ikea and they are just four little side plates. And these small side plates were $7.99 for a set of four. And then these are also from Ikea and they're just four wide bowls. And these were $14.99 for a set of four. I got these four glass cups for $3.99 at Didi's. And I, of course, I opened the box and inspected them before I bought this, but you can't beat four cups for $4. <laughs> this is not your typical on-the-counter knife holder. I got one to go in my drawer and it fits perfectly. I wanted to minimize the amount of things that went on my counter, so this is perfect to just slide directly in my drawer. So I got mine from Amazon and it was $22. And I think that was worth it. This is great quality. You know pretty heavy this one is an over the sink cutting board and this was only ten dollars from marshall so it was on sale and this one is a marble and wood cutting board and serving tray and this was on sale as well for twelve dollars from marshall and i love the quality on this one but i'm also thinking about getting just a wood one a bigger one i'm still shopping around for that one but i'm sure i can get it easily at home goods some smaller items that i have are these magnetic measuring spoons and i got these from tj maxx for 8.99 and then i got some silicone air fryer liners and these are reusable so i'm going to be cooking with these and adding them to my air fryer it makes for easier cleanup i got these from home goods in a two pack for 4.99 i got these silicone cooking gloves from home goods for eight dollars this was 6.99 from home goods just to hold my utensils in the drawers it's a pretty big size i don't know if it's showing on camera but it's it's a pretty good size and i got some under the sink drip trays basically used to protect your sink area and these were 7.99 at home goods such a good deal for two of them so these will fit perfectly underneath my sink so i can lay out everything on top of these i got this eight piece glass mixing bowl set from Costco for $15 and it's very heavy <laughs> but I heard a lot of great things about this brand but it comes in a set of eight. This comes in a set of 18 and it was on sale at the time at Costco and I believe regular price was like close to 30 if I'm not mistaken. The toaster I got mine from Amazon for $40. Of course you can find a cheaper option for a toaster but I love the option of having longer and wider toasting slots. 
So that's what I love about this toaster. These are cork heat trivets to put under your pots and pans. They're used to protect your countertops, your stove. These were $4.99 from Ikea for a two pack. I'll be trying out the dishwasher because I know it's more convenient at times. And I got this from Costco for $12. Also, I got this dish soap from Costco. This was also a great price. I honestly forgot how much it was, but I will have it linked down below. This bottle is pretty big, so I know this is going to last me quite a while. I also got some different dish soap as well as hand soap, and these are by the Myers brand. At Home Goods, this one was on sale for $3.50. It's so cute. And then I got this one from Target. This one was also on sale for like six or seven dollars. It just says hello gorgeous. So cute. And I also got this one at Home Goods on sale for $3. So this was a good deal as well. So I don't own a lot of mugs because it's just me. So I don't need a lot of mugs. So I just have three and that's how I'm gonna keep it. If one breaks, I have two left, that's fine. I also got this storage shelf organizer in large and this one was $4.99 from Home Goods, which is such a good deal because I believe I've seen a two pack on Amazon for like $15 and this is five dollars i tested it out so i'm glad that it fits i'm pretty sure i'm gonna go back and get like one or two more of these i also got this over the sink dish drying basket and the thing i love about it is it does expand and i actually got this off of shein it was pretty cheap it fits right in my sink which is great i also tested this out so i like that it is adjustable as well to the size of your sink i'll most likely be using this to dry my mugs over my sink as well as my small plates i got this one from the dollar store i got these from a grocery outlet and they came in like a tin pack and they're very affordable and you can find these of course anywhere this is a dish drying caddy and this is a dish drying mat so what i would do is set this one down and put this on top of it to not get my countertop wet i plan on using the over the sink one for my smaller dishes like my mugs and my small plates and i plan on using this one for my big plates and my big bowls this one was $3 on sale at Marshalls and it is machine washable and super absorbent. And then I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond when they were having their store closing sale and I got it for like $4, which was such a great price. I also got this OXO three-piece all-purpose dispensers and they're kind of small, but I definitely thought it was a good deal at Costco. I also got this huge kitchen mat that was on sale at Costco. It's an anti-fatigue basket weave gel kitchen mat and it's heavy too but I put it down and I stepped on it, it feels so comfortable. I also got some microfiber towels. I used some of these in my deep cleaning video. These come in a 12 pack and they were $6.99 from Marshalls. And I got these microfiber towels from Shein and these were a great price as well. I got this one from Home Goods for $7.99 and I love it so much. The quality is amazing and it's very sturdy. And then I got this one from Amazon. I'll have this one linked below. I'm thinking if I should keep both I really like the style of this one, but this one is more convenient being that it would be underneath the cabinets and it won't take up any counter space, but this one is more my style. I love it. I'm going to decide between these two and whatever one I don't use. Of course, I'm just going to give it away. I also got this Lazy Susan to organize my spices in my cabinet. This one was only $2 at Marshall's. Such a great price and this is super convenient to have your spices on it and just turn it whenever you need a specific spice. And it's quite a big space to have all of my spices on here. So I love this. So convenient. This is my fruit holder. I plan to have bananas and apples and mandarins, oranges, maybe some avocados in here. I love the style of this. I've never seen a swinging basket like this for your fruits on your countertop. So I thought that was unique. And this one was actually on sale at Marshall's for $10. And I think that was definitely a good deal. And I think it's perfect for my countertop. I love this so much. It's the cutest thing ever. I got Snoop Dogg's cookbook. I grew up listening to Snoop Dogg, so I just thought, why not get his cookbook? And I love the color. It's like a dark green with gold, and I think it's so cute. And I've seen quite a few recipes in here that I definitely will be trying out, but I think 
having a cookbook in your first apartment is very beneficial. You'll definitely get ideas of what to cook for yourself because when you're in your first apartment, that's really when you become independent. So I definitely would recommend a cookbook. It can help you come up with different ideas of what to cook for yourself and become more creative in the kitchen. This is actually my third cookbook. So it's not my first, but this is definitely one of my favorites thus far. They have some really great recipes in here. <laughs> so I'm excited to actually start using it. I do recommend you get a cookbook based upon what you like to eat because they do have some different cookbooks out there for vegetarians, vegans. If you're gluten-free, they do have some different ones out there, but this is my favorite so far. I love the brand Lodge. I love their cast iron skillets, but they are heavy. Just wanna put that out there because they are cast iron skillets, but I love them. The quality is amazing and they're so durable. So that's all I personally use. So I got this big one from Marshalls for $16. And they're usually more than that, of course, depending on the size. And this is a pretty big one. It's probably not showing as the biggest on camera. I also got the Lodge silicone handle holder, basically the sleeve to go on the actual handle so you won't burn yourself because it's a cast iron skillet, so it does get really hot. I got these handle holders from at home for $7 each, and I got two of them. Then I got this smaller cast iron skillet. This one actually comes with the handle holder, so you can take it off, of course. Again, I've used this brand, I trust this brand, I love this brand, so I'll continue to buy from them. I also got this pot from TJ Maxx. So basically, it's your, it's your basic pot with a glass top. Of course, these are not the only pots and pans that I will be using. I have two or three other ones that are still packed up and those are old ones and they're still holding up just fine so i obviously didn't think that i needed to go replace them and something that i wanted to put out there is that if you have any items from your previous place that you were living don't be afraid to bring those items with you because that can save you a lot of money as well especially if you're on a budget don't feel like you need new everything right don't be afraid to bring things from your previous apartment or your previous house don't be afraid to do that because that can save you money in the long run now we are in my bedroom and as you can see i have my mattress on the floor i will insert a clip of me setting that up but i got mine from wayfair it is the 12 inch medium hybrid mattress and it was $300. And of course, there are cheaper mattresses, but I did get the 12 inch and I read some great reviews about this mattress. So I plan on having this for a couple of years and it was $300 because I did get the protection plan as well. And with my plan, they did send me a mattress cover. So that is what is on the mattress. I got my bed frame from Amazon and it came out to 229. I love the way that bed frame looked in the pictures, so we'll see how it arrives. I got this two pack of pillows from Costco for $15 and they are queen pillows and they are gel memory foam. I did invest a bit more on these three items. All of these items came from Amazon. This is my comforter and this was $55. I have the optional duvet cover and this was $27 and of course the duvet is optional and this is my sheet set that I got for $45. Again, all of these items are from Amazon. I got this 50 pack of non-slip hangers at Costco for $13.99 and of course they have these hangers at Amazon Target but I found that $13.99 is actually a really great price for a 50 pack of these hangers. This dresser from Shein costs 188 total and it's really great quality to be honest and I put it together myself and although it was tedious, very tedious, I don't regret it because it came out amazing and I know it's definitely going to hold up for a while. These are some miscellaneous items that I did not put in any specific category because I didn't think that they fit in any of the categories that I already shared with you all. So these are just some miscellaneous items. I got all of these from Costco. The bath tissue was $20. The paper towels were the same price and then the Kleenex were on sale I believe for $15 and they've been lasting me for a while so I prefer to buy in bulk so I don't have to keep going back to Costco so it works for me. When you get your new apartment you're going to be Bob the Builder, you're going to have to build several things so this is going to be very helpful. 
I also have this laundry basket and I got this from Big Lots for $15. Such a good deal. It's such a good size and I love that it has this handle here so I can just pull it. Going along with that theme of laundry, I have my laundry detergent, I have my wool dryer balls, and I have my scent booster crystals, as well as my bounce dryer sheets. So these are going to be my essentials when it comes to washing my clothes. So I got these just in case, but I'm definitely going to try these out first. And it comes with three XL wool balls to dry your clothes. I got all of these from Home Goods and Marshalls, but I plan on going to Costco to get the bigger laundry detergent. I got this non-skid floor runner, and this was $12 at Costco. I believe it was on sale. And I also have this entryway mirror. It's pretty big. It was only $22 at Home Goods. I plan on putting it here, right in my entryway. We'll definitely see because I already have a mirror right here. So we'll definitely see, but I do love the style of this mirror. And $22 is such a great deal for a mirror this size. This is from the Dollar Tree. It was just $125. It's okay quality. I didn't think I needed to spend so much money on this because it's going to be outside in front of my front door. So if anybody decides to come by and take it, not that I'm saying anybody would, but you never know. You never know how petty some people can be. <laughs> just saying it's only a dollar 25 I can go back and get another one so that's why I didn't feel like I needed to spend a lot of money on this I also got some cabinet liners these two came from the dollar store and they're just used to protect your cabinets and this one came from Shein very affordable and much needed to protect your cabinets this is something that is very important this is actually a door stopper folding security bar it was $27 on Amazon it basically goes behind the door and it prevents somebody from forcing their way in and I did not include the items that I purchased for my living room as the majority were not here on the day that I filmed this video. So check out some of my most recent moving vlogs to see those items that I purchased for my living room. So I hope you guys enjoyed that new apartment shopping haul. If you like this video, please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you're currently not subscribed because there are definitely more moving related vlogs on the way. Thank you all for watching and I will definitely see you guys next time. So I'm gonna say it's classy, bougie, rich.